Hello, my name's Tamara Barnett and I've worked for Wiltshire Police for a year now. I'm a non-emergency call handler and a crime investigator working in the Crime and Communications Centre. I take 101 calls from members of the public. This could be anything from criminal damage to a burglary. What I like about my job is that I never know who I'm going to speak to next and what report I'm going to take. Every day is different. When I put my uniform on in the morning, I feel proud. Proud knowing that I'm going to a job where I can help somebody. Being able to make a difference in that person's life gives me great job satisfaction. Hi there, my name is Rachel Woodbridge and I work here in the emergency side of Wiltshire Police Control Centre. Um, I've been working here for the last 10 years and absolutely love it. Um, I've also been a tutor here now for the last eight years, so if you are lucky enough or decide that you want to come and work for us, then you may be very lucky and come and work with me, which would be great. We take a variety of calls which can range from antisocial behaviour, um, someone reporting some criminal damage, a group of youths that are playing around, onto something extreme. Someone who's just been assaulted, someone who's reporting a rape for the first time, so you're going to be the first person that they will speak to about this incident. And it can be the most difficult call that they will ever have to make in their lives. As well as taking 999 calls when you work on the incident control side of things, you will deal with the dispatch side of things, which means speaking to officers out on the ground via the radio. So basically when a 999 call comes in, if it is an immediate response that will be sent over to a part of the dispatch team, who will then allocate a police officer, the next available unit that is showing closest to go to that incident straight away and deal with it. We also have another setup of um, immediate response or a priority response, which means that we need to get an officer out within the hour. So it's checking our available officers out on the ground to be able to prioritise those jobs that are there waiting to be tasked and making sure that we get the right unit to go there within that time scale. My name's Cathy. I've worked for Wiltshire Police for eight and a half years now. Um, I've worked my way up to senior operator um, and I've also worked both roles within contact management which is dispatch 999 and I currently work in a 101 crime recording and investigating centre which I really enjoy it's much it's very in-depth um, you get to talk to lots of people take different things and sometimes you get to see the whole investigation through from start to finish to be able to do the role of um, crime recording and investigating 101 number you need essentially to be a people person, um, you need to enjoy interacting with people, um, you need a certain amount of self-confidence um, and excellent typing skills and the ability to sometimes think of more than one thing at once and do more than one thing at a time. Um, all these things, although they might seem particularly difficult now, over the period of time that you have the training here, you develop those skills. Um, and um, your colleagues help you and you learn techniques to um, how to communicate with people and how to manage situations. Yeah, police emergency. I've always fancied joining the police and uh, a couple of years ago I saw the opportunity so I, I applied. I've always wanted to do something more varied and exciting, something more responsibility and a bit more pressurising. Yeah, I, I enjoy my job, it's varied every day. You, you do something different, a lot, a lot of hard work but it's rewarding as well when you sort of help the community and you get that good feeling when you Hello, catch the bad if you will. It's varied, every day you get something different, but um, you get a lot with regards to ongoing disorders, maybe people fighting um, at a nightclub, car crashes as well. You get people who've, who've had accidents and, and sort of need police help. And some of those are quite difficult, people are quite scared and you've got to try and take control of the situation. 